Today we're going to talk about a song we did um, with James Arthur called Medicine. Always make me feel blessed, oh my God, you angel. You are, you are, you are. Someone dropped out of a session and we were sort of asked if we wanted uh, to do a day with him. That session became the first single and then we ended up writing hopefully quite a lot on the album. James is one of, if not, one of the best vocalists we've ever had the pleasure of working with and we work with some amazing singers. He knows exactly what he wants to write about. He had the album kind of concept all yeah. exactly like pre-planned. It was the first session that any of us had done after lockdown mm -hmm. and so there was like a kind of crazy energy in the room. Everybody was kind of just excited to see real human beings again and, and be making music in person. We sat here, so we played a couple of ideas to James and Yami, who was the, the co-writer in the session, um, and they jumped on this one, and then we were flying some melodies, flying some lyrics through. I decided to set up a note, so share a note so that we can all add different lyrics to the different things. This is basically was the start of the session. I started playing something like this. Yeah, and it becomes this, which sounds a lot better than us snooping around. <laughs> Um, I, and there was one other. There was one other guitar that we brought in as the, this sort of weird, high-pitched guitar. And I was saying earlier, we hadn't really done. We had the drums there, but we hadn't really. Uh, presented them in a session because as we, we said we weren't quite sure what the direction was at that point um, but when we showed him the drums he that felt like that was the right way to go taking from that big American kind of it's that kind of emo trap kind of sound isn't it that we were kind of going for and when we actually showed James the, the drums that we were thinking of he 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 thought it was in the in the ballpark if not exactly where he wanted to be which was awesome and yeah, on the drums. Yeah, so it's just pretty simple kind of like trap style beat. George played some uh, live drums to layer over the top of them and they sound like this. Yeah, so what we did vocally with, with, with this track is a lot of it was recorded most of it was, record, was recorded there in the session. James had his own setup, which he loved, which was... Uh, He's got a Flea U47 uh, going into a Neve 1073. And CL1B. And a, uh, no, a warm audio, like 1176 oh, yeah. clone. Yeah. Yami, the guy um, who we're working with, he just sort of ad-libs his way across the track. And if you stick uh, auto tune across it really heavily and then put it in a load of reverb. It sounds really cool in the background. This is like stuff like this. I love it. Which, when you bring in. There's so often, I think, um, with James, there's a magic about like the very first takes uh, that he doesn't want to lose. Um, yeah. Which, you know, I think that's, that's part of it, the, the immediacy of um, those first takes. It's Absolutely. Something special. You make my heart be faster than a journey. You kiss away 